What's up guys and welcome to Zadar, Croatia. Zadar is a beautiful coastal town situated right on the Adriatic coast. Today is going to be all about the old town so if you're ever visiting Zadar and you're docking here on a cruise or if you're traveling up the coast here in Croatia, this video is for you. Zadar is very walkable, especially the old town. You're only about a quarter of a mile at most from everything. The sun is shining, the bells are clearly belling and I am super excited to check out everything here in the city. But first, Hannah cup of coffee? Of course. Let's do it. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, Trey and I are typically black coffee people. Maybe that's our American showing, I guess. We did find something when we came to Europe the first time and we were obsessed with flat whites and apparently this coffee shop has the best flat white in town. So makes sense that we would go here. We had to get two, obviously, because I'm not sharing. <laughs> so, here we go. Are we trying it? I think the key to a flat white is not too much milk because it's supposed to be mostly espresso and then just a little bit of milk, and this is perfect. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's not like overly milky, you're right. It's nice and balanced, perfect. Exactly what you need uh, for your first cup of coffee in the morning or your second one, because honestly, we had a cup of instant coffee before we got here. Also, big shout out to my buddy, Matt Guerrero for buying us these coffees through our Buy Me A Coffee page. He knows my coffee addiction is borderline unhealthy. <laughs> so thanks for feeding it, buddy, for all time. I miss you, and I love you. Cheers, bub. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea when this video is gonna come live because we've got a bunch of different plans and we're kind of all over the place and that's a song for another time. But we were here at the end of October in 2023 and this is basically the tail end of the tourist season. So a lot of these stores have made their money for the summers off of the cruise ships that dock here and now they're starting to close up. So if you come in the winter time, then odds are it's gonna be a little bit quieter, a lot more chill, but you're gonna have the place basically to yourself. Yeah. Like in the evenings, this place basically is silent because all the cruise ships are gone so if you come to Zadar and you want to stay for a few days you might really enjoy it because I know we have. And the weather has been very nice like yeah. today is beautiful not a cloud in the sky. Yeah it's gorgeous not every day is like this but uh, majority at least two out of four so not yeah. bad. Hannah where are we? Roman Forum here in Zadar, of course. <laughs> the good thing about Zadar's old town is that everything's really, really close and walkable. So for instance, right now we're at the Roman Forum and the next stop is the Church of St. Donatus, which is right over my shoulder. Let's go check it out. When you come in, you get a little pamphlet of information, and apparently this is a music venue and has been for the past 50 years or so, and they have little acoustic nights, which I can only imagine is just absolutely amazing, and the acoustics in here are fantastic, so it's probably really, really cool. Nice little breeze through here. I'm so excited. The views, like even from right here, even though it's covered, are so good. I can't wait to go up top to the tower. The tower? Yeah. You wanna do cool. it now? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so it's three and a half euros to get into the Church of St. Donatus. So that was seven euros total, and then now it's three euros each to climb to the top of the tower. I don't like heights, so I'm gonna sit this one out. We're gonna save the three euros because that's basically gonna pay for our lunch. And instead, we're just gonna send Hannah up because she likes these kind of things. I think you added 20 more steps today. It's not 180, it's just 100. <laughs> Thank you. You made 360. I did, I, oh 361. yes. 361. One up, one, one up, one down. All together, yes. All together, 360. 360, oh my goodness. Oh my word. It's a little tight for this initial part, and it's one way, so you gotta wait if you hear somebody else. It's 
think it opens up right here though. Yeah, here we go. It's a nice little lookout point for the camera. This is so not bad. I think Trey's gonna really regret not coming up here because the views already are really great on these lookout points where you can kind of take a break, 180 steps. So you might need a break at some point instead of going straight up. But it's plenty of space to walk around. So I think it's gonna regret not coming up here because they're already incredible views. <laughs> All right, just kidding. He would not have liked this. It's pretty tight up here. Review, I think that the steps are definitely worth it if you have the ability to go up. I will say the steps towards the end and at the beginning are very steep, very tight, so be careful there. I don't think Trey would have liked this as much as I thought he would initially, but the views are amazing. You can get some really great views of the sea, of Zadar, not just the old town, but of the city itself. So there's a lot of great views. Overall, I'd say it was pretty fun. Uh, you just have to watch your steps, but now let's go find Trey. There he is. How was it? It was so pretty up there. Good. I don't think you would have liked the beginning or the end. Mm -mm. I don't think I would have either. <clears throat> I had to make a business decision. I can't even imagine how loud that is up there right now. Those the bells. bells. I'm so glad I missed that because you can see the bells when you go up there. There's like a little landing where you can see them. That is probably way too loud for me. You just barely missed it too. I did. We're getting some pizza for lunch because the bakery doesn't have rec. These are giants. Excuse me, she's pizza queen coming through. Excuse me, make way, make way. Oh, here's my, here's my security. Here. Could we bum a ride, please? All right. Here we go. Lunch spot lunch. secured. Another reason that it's a great idea to just grab lunch and come down to the boardwalk to have lunch is because a lot of the restaurants are super duper busy because all of the tourists are here right now off of the cruise ships and off of the boat, the bus trips and stuff like that. It's really nice that we're able to come down here and have lunch and kind of avoid the crowds. Although I will say as much as we are kind of avoiding the crowds, there's really no way to avoid these guys. <laughs> Okay, now that we've gotten a couple slices of pizza in our stomachs, we're gonna try and walk that pizza off on the promenade. Now, if you're coming to Zadar, then honestly, this is a must hit. We're not gonna hit all the promenade right now because we got a couple of cool things to show you a bit later on in the evening. But for now, this is a beautiful place to walk, even if it is a little bit windy today. The cool thing about walking the promenade is it kind of turns into like the fortress wall walk. A lot of cities in Europe will have kind of like these fortress walls and they'll have this little path on the outside. So you go from the promenade to this beautiful little fort walk and it takes you right over to the town gate or the walking gate, I think is what it's called. So I'm gonna show you that next, but first you gotta get around the wall. We haven't been so lucky with the camera yet, but in basically all the photos I have on my phone, there's a seagull majestically flying. <laughs> and so that's my favorite part about filming here so far is the seagulls are very active, so you get some pretty incredible shots. So we made it around the fortified walls and then through the land gate that we just came through, we took a right and we're here in the Five Wells Square. And it's called the Five Wells Square because there are five wells that date back to the 16th century. They're made of stone, really beautiful little pieces of history. And they sit right outside of this medieval gate, or this medieval wall rather. And just down the steps over there are some Roman ruins, which we're gonna go check out next. But for now, we're gonna relax in the shade because it's a little bit warm. Oh, 
Now I know a lot of the port towns here in Croatia and along Italy and as you get down further south into Greece, a lot of these port towns have a lot of shopping and Zadar is really no different. You can get some really cool things from like antique shops. There's one not too far away from here. There's also these little stores that have these beautiful magnets. It's like three euros for an entire map of Croatia. You can also get your higher end, you know, $250 for like a bathing suit if you really want to. So they've got all kinds of ranges for shopping. But there is one shop here that is all stuff made in Croatia and we saw it when we were in Rijeka. Rijeka? Rijeka. Rijeka. We pronounce that wrong every single time. But we saw that when we were in Rijeka as well. And I haven't seen it when we were in Zagreb or any of the other cities that we've been to. So we're going to show that because I think it's a really special shop. I'm hoping it's open though because it's Sunday so it might not be open. Oh no. It's closed. The stuff in here is so stinking cute. I love it. favorite things about this old town versus some other old towns that we've been to is everything is so compact so it feels really small but there are still so many streets that we haven't walked down yet yeah we've been here for a few days just kind of exploring ourselves and even now I'm like I don't think we've been on this road yet <laughs> the old town here feels really nice and compact and it kind of reminds me of Kotor Montenegro which isn't that far down the Adriatic coast from here but it's kind of got that same feel also similar to Kotor though there are cats everywhere yes everywhere that's probably why i'm saying it's so similar to kotor probably. yeah i think so oh, man. we had dinner at this restaurant i don't even know what it's called la osteria 12. la osteria 12. we had dinner there twice since we've been here and they closed for the season yesterday so but open. it's incredible and if you come so during the good. summer eat here yeah eat here it's don't so miss good. it my favorite time of day never miss the sunset Windy, windy. Is that where the sound's coming from? No. I think it's these little slats right here. Oh. This is what's called a C organ, and if you can't hear it around me, we'll try to make it as loud as possible. The wind is catching uh, these little slats under here. We'll try to get a video of it. These little slats, and it makes this beautiful, like, La da da da. La da 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 da. <laughs> that kind of sound. I'm guessing the water has a part too. You think? I think the water's down there. Well, it's and called a sea. Right here. That's fair. If you know a little bit more of the science behind this, let us know. <laughs> this is a cool thing that I've not seen anywhere else. The solar panels underneath this glass part power this light show I guess and it only lasts for however long as long as the sun was out all day so today was a great day for this to happen. <laughs> this is called the greeting of the sun and if you are a kid in Zadar this is the place to be right now. <laughs> They're having so much fun. So it's a great activity for kids something to kind of look forward to towards the end of the day when it's really sunny maybe you're out all day at the beach and you come here to watch sunset and then enjoy a gelato and go to bed. It's a good way to end the day.